Hello Beria, welcome to the real estate show myself Nagaraj Annaya where we delve into latest economic and real estate trends impacting our communities. Today we are discussing the recent collapse of a significant real estate investment company and it's a profound effects on Asanoma properties and the local job market and meanwhile I'll try to give a couple of examples which was similar to that case what's in the especially in the bay area let's let's discuss about what is this collapse all about in sonoma county in recent news a major real estate investment company led by ken matson has collapsed leading to cascade of financial and social repercussions in sonoma county matson known for his extensive property acquisitions in the area faces now a foreclosure on numerous properties due to unpaid taxes and delinquent mortgage payments this has resulted in upcoming auction of a several properties making a significant downturn for the local real estate market see house buying or like buy, for the investors right it's kind of an a what do i say like it's kind of a wine keep buying keep buying it becomes an addiction sometimes also that's what i've learned it also to illustrate this for issue further right let me look at one of the recent case like 2 years back around 2 to 3 years back a case of a sanjeev acharya a ba area real estate developer whose properties were seized following federal court order acharya's company silicon sage builders was involved in 119 million fraudulent scheme deceiving over 250 investors primarily from the south asian community its projects also suffered from the cost overturns and the false promises of returns leading to its company's downfall and a subsequent bankruptcy do you remember some new townhouses or a new condos in fremont uh, that was like built by sanjeev acharya and there was some some Uh, some properties he had bought around in one in a, near to the alum rock uh, which i remember and now let's go back to the what would be immediate impacts on sonoma properties because of this Ma- ken matson the auction of this properties includes both residential and a commercial real estate which were once part of a matson's ambitious projects many of these projects such as the container village and the mixed use development of a boys food center have been stalled for a years now leaving behind a trail of unfinished and neglected sites the failure to complete this projects like especially right has only affected the physical landscape of sonoma but also the community's trust in a large scale real estate ventures one more thing what is impacting this wine industry right like especially in the job layoffs in the recent wine industry like uh, in this especially in sonoma county parallel to this real estate turmoil now the local turmoil has been further strained by job layoffs in the wine industry now like vintage wine estates a prominent player in the sonoma and napa announced a significant layoffs due to financial difficulties uh, this has compounded the ex- economic strain on the region as the wine industry is a major employment sector uh, one more example i can give is like in uh, santa clara uh, there is in a monro monro and franklin uh, there was like one builder bought like what close to four properties next to adjustan and he wanted to make money and he wanted to go for a high rise buildings because especially these investors uh if they don't in uh, can't build higher the uh, right building they can make more money but he fought for 2 2 3 years with the city and he was not able to get a approvals and finally he has also filed for a bankruptcy so you, why we are not learning this why this uh, one more uh, why we are not learning one more thing is like recently i had been to auctions in santa clara there if you go there is always basically you can look at only couple of investors are dominating it other people who is like if you are an if you want an uh, you, you want to go and buy a property it would not impossible to buy because this investors comes with a huge cash they always keep bidding a uh, bit for the higher values bit for the higher values they say uh, in the auctions you can get it for a good price but no 
because there also is ruled by a lot of lot of investors in there but why we are not learning here despite previous real estate collapses and economic downturns it appears that we are not learning from our past mistakes the recurring themes for of our like leveraging a lack of financial oversight and speculative investments continue to plague the industry plague the industry the all the like high like especially uh, allure of high returns often blinds the investors and developer to to the risk involved uh, leading to cycles of a boom and bust I, one more example is like one of my client uh, he, i like invested in a san francisco he, uh, he he was promised like you'll get a huge returns and he pay, paid for a 400k on the investment and he never got back and he's now is fighting in the court not sure he'll get back the money back so what does the future of housing hold like right looking ahead the future of housing in sonoma especially and similar regions hinges on a several critical factors what we can do like may, maybe like we need to come up with a stricter regulations right implementing and enforcing a stricter financial construction regulations to ensure the projects are feasible and sustainable uh, i would call out to a community involvement also greater community involvement and uh, oversight in real estate developments to ensure that projects meet the local needs and the ne- uh, standards and that is why if you go to any of the uh, recently like uh, i was like trying to do my client was trying to build some of them like preschool and uh, their like city is like involved even in the architectural decisions like they are looking at it if it's going to impact any of the architectural of that city or like zonings everything will be like need to look into it and one more thing is diverse investment encouraging a diversified investment portfolios to reduce impact of a single sector's collapse on the local economy this is the same thing why did we even allow that investor to buy so many properties especially maxson's ambitious projects we could have they could have stalled and somebody could have looked around it why they didn't do it correct uh, we need to involve a lot of stuffs uh, so like as a sonoma now what would be the conclusion of this like right like as a sonoma grapples with a fallout from the real estate collapse and associated job losses it's again a stark reminder of the need of for more prudent and community focused investment strategies i think even as i keep on telling you all this when you're buying a property is around don't look for red fin estimate zillow estimates just go pay for the prices based on that look for the properties and make a decisions based on it i don't know this will go on trigger for an a collapse that is Uh, is one of the indicators more we faster they learn it's better for us by learning from the, these events we can mark like basically work towards a more stable and resilient housing market uh, that's what i keep repeating it like any time we make a mistake we need to keep learning from that and we need to move on but this kind be a small small downturn but it will uh, recover i if you have seen from the last few years how it has been recovered it's always something happens the counties cities needs to look around how they can impact reduce this impact in the future uh, thank you and i think i will come back with more interesting stories in the future and if you like this video do like and subscribe and let me know in the comment section below what do you think about this and thank you so much and watch we'll see you again thank you